ಶ್ರೀ ರಮಣ ಗೀತ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಅಬೈಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಗಣಪತಿ ಮುನಿ ಆಫರಿಂಗ್ ಮೈ ಸ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಮಹರಿಷಿ ರಮಣ ಕಾರ್ತಿಕೇಯ ಗಾಡ್ ಇನ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಐ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೂಸಿಡ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೋಲ್ಡ್ ಸೀಸನ್ ಆನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ನೈನ್ತ್ ಡಿಸೆಂಬರ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಿಯನ್ ಎರಾ ವೆನ್ ಆಲ್ ಡಿಸೈಪಲ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಫೋಕಸ್ಡ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಐ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಮಹರಿಷಿ ಫಾರ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ಸ್ will the discrimination between the real and the unreal itself be enough to liberate or is there any other spiritual practice for it for seekers of truth is the critical study of the scriptures alone enough for liberation or is spiritual practice in accordance with guru's guidance also necessary How does a person of steady knowledge know that he is one such? Is it because of the awareness of the fullness of his knowledge? Or is it because of cessation of objective awareness? By what hallmark do the learned recognize the knower? Does Samadhi the conscious absorption of the mind in the heart result only in knowledge or does it also fulfill desires if one practicing yoga spiritual practices for fulfilling a desire becomes a steadfast knower of the self will that desire be fulfilled anyway or not after hearing my questions my guru the repository of mercy bhagavan shri ramana maharishi dispeller of doubts replied thus shri ramana maharishi self abidance alone can release one from all bondage however the discrimination between the real and the unreal leads to distaste for the transient the profound gnani is always rooted in the self alone he does not think of the universe as unreal nor does he see it as apart from himself there is no doubt that mere critical study of scriptures cannot liberate the one seeking the truth without upasana spiritual practice there cannot be attainment of self realization this is certain experience of the natural state during spiritual practice is called upasana worship or spiritual practice when that itself is unwaveringly attained it is called knowledge once abidance in one's own nature as a flame of knowledge after completely discarding sense objects is termed the natural state in the firm natural state through the silence of the mind that is free of all tendencies the knower knows himself as such without any doubt let one know that he is the knower by his hallmark of equality for all creation even though the practice of absorption of the mind in the heart is begun for fulfilling a desire along with the absorption of the mind that desire will also certainly be fruitful while practicing yoga spiritual practices with a desire 
if one becomes a person of steady wisdom, even though the desire is fulfilled, there would be no elation.